Good afternoon world. I am planning on building stories swing today. There's some pieces of wood here that are covered in bugs. I thought they were termites, but they just look like ants. Or maybe the ants are eating the termites. It's possible. I want this piece though, so let's try and see if I can debug it. I should have checked really to see if this was big enough to go between the two trees. Everything looks so pretty when the sun comes out. Look at it. The afternoon light here is really special. This is far too narrow. <laughs> we need something that fits between these two trees. I'll get my tape measure. Let's do this properly. What have you brought me? Coffee. Coffee? Yeah. Is it a little worker's break? Yeah. Thank you very much. Whistling skills. Really good at whistling now. What are you building? A swing. A swing for me. A swing for you here. Can I watch you? You can watch here. Don't touch any of the tools at the moment though, okay? Because they're on. So the idea is, sorry, this one here is what you would stand on, so. You put it down on the ground. Does that widen off your feet? I'll hold your hands. You stand on there. Right? Put one rope there. What, one rope instead of two? Yeah. Is that how you have it in forest school? No, we have one. We have, we have three. Three ropes or three swings? Three, three swings. Yeah. And three ropes three ropes so they're just one rope per swing yeah yeah is that how they one, do it one, three, one rope, so. so you think it's better to have one rope instead of two yeah because that's and the other one top of the stairs has two right daddy i don't know what kind of one he's going to make he's going to make a swing for me for my playground but i i don't know which i'm thinking what I want what kind of swing I want. I think I could have a faster swing and a little bit shorter to reach down with my feet. So stand up swing and sit down swing and it's going to be very big. Do you want to see? See, it's going to be very big. Dad's working on it right now. I know I'm going to join him in. So now I'm going to get this to Dad. Now. Here, Dad. Thanks for vlogging, Story. So do you think this is a good location for the uh, swing between these two trees? Uh, no. I think this is a good I'll put one in the middle, a bar, yeah, yeah. and then you can go wee towards the house. Here. Here. What have you found down there? Moss. Yeah, so it's quite soft landing, isn't it? Yeah. So that is a good location for your swing. Yeah, good. All right, approved? Foreman approved. Yeah. What's that there? Is that Daddy's? Did she bring two coffees out? I never saw Mum do that. I think it is yours. Oh, nice. Thank you. I, I didn't bring it to you. No, <laughs> it must have been Mum. Oh, it's got oat milk in it. Mm -hmm. That lovely Mum. She's always thinking about us, isn't she? Yeah. Keeping us hydrated. Keeping us caffeine fueled. And I always give you hydrated because I gave you some coffee to make you hydrated. You did, yeah. Thank you very much for that. Now I feel um, nice and charged and ready to make your swing. You know that bees and birds, oh. they can get really hungry for coffee, but not. <laughs> because different animals could have that, or just humans, because it pretends if animals and humans could have it. So some animals pretend to have coffee, yeah? Yeah, okay. especially in my films. Yeah, that's true. Some animals talk in your films. The imagination of a child, hey? What have you found now? Nuts. Ooh, that looks very soft. Ah. That's going to be the base of your swing. This really reminds me of my old construction days. I bought these raw bolts. That's what we used to call them in the UK, raw bolts. I'm not sure if that's just a brand name. 
but they're really cool. You drill a big hole and you stick that into something and when you do this up, it expands and it makes like a solid connection. So I put one up there in a the tree, it needs to do a bit more hammering, get one on the other side too, and it won't fall down. Is it your dinner time? Yeah. Should we go and test out the gate quickly? Do a full loop around the house? Yeah. Yeah, check out Papung's new gate. Have you tested it already? So this is the fence, looking very good. Nice and solid? Yeah. Nice colour as well, eh? Blends in. If I punch, it won't, it won't, it won't even punch. It, it blends into your skin. Yeah, it does, yeah. Your skin a bit lighter. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit lighter than the fence. It's a nice natural colour, isn't it? Yeah. Thinking about, I want to go to the hut. You want to go down to the Kubo? Yeah. Alright, let's check out the gate. Woohoo, you did it! Had a lot. Can I come out too? Yeah. Thank yeah. you. You can close the gate if you want, yeah, go for it. Yeah, is that done? Yeah. Nice. So all construction has come to a halt because Story wants me to play. Her dinner, she'll be ready soon though, so I can resume while she's eating. Nice place to relax, eh? How's the view today, Story? It's very lovely, isn't it? I love this place, actually. Yeah, I love this place too. <laughs> I don't think you can squeeze through there. Well, you probably could, actually. <laughs> you proved me wrong. <laughs> See? Yeah, well done. <laughs> I'll just open the door, I think. That was a good idea, wasn't it? That's very clever of you, yeah. This is the finished job. Thank you, Papang and family, for doing this. This is really cool. It's nice and solid now. Nothing's falling down. This will be here for a very long time. It's all full of concrete. A nice little setup for our garden space, right there. Off for dinner? See ya! Here's a little tip for anybody who's using a raw bolt for the first time, so you don't mess it up. When you're hammering it into the surface, put the nut just there and hammer the nut. Don't hammer this bit because you'll ruin the thread. And these bolts, they're not cheap, they're quite expensive, so if you need to buy lots of them, you'll know about it. <laughs> these little foot notches for the coconut climbers have come in handy for levelling up. But I don't know whether it's just the time of day or because I've disturbed the tree, but there are so many ants crawling over everything. Every time I try and step on the side of the tree, I'm getting completely bitten to death. And then the mosquitoes are coming at me. Get off ants. So, I may have to retreat, but I'm glad that I've got something started here. I might be able to do some of this indoors, like the swing bit. I can drill the holes for that, put the rope through, maybe like research what kind of knots I need to make sure it's nice and solid. It's gonna be a very simple swing. And according to story, she wants a single rope swing, which is what they have in forest school, which is just one rope in the center of the bamboo, and then she just holds onto it like a bit of a Tarzan swing. So we'll see. I'm thinking more two ropes, but you know, that's what she wanted. <laughs> I thought that giving that final Titan was going to make it more secure but it actually tipped it forward because it's now tighter to this tree and it's left the coconut hook on that side. I don't think I've got it in me to drill another hole right now because they're pretty deep big holes and the bites are starting to irritate. things we do for our kids, eh? It's a new morning here in the Philippines. A beautiful sunny day. Look at this. Look at that sea. I've come outside to resume construction of Story's little swing. Hopefully I can finish it today. Shouldn't be too much more work actually. Just need to make sure everything's solid. I can see a guy out there at the end of the reef looking for something in the sea. I think it's going to be a hot one today. Let's see how much more work I've got to do before I can finish this swing off. So I put the spirit level on this earlier and I marked out the hole and drilled it last night. Put some masking tape on the tree so I could see where I need to go. I'm going to tighten up that raw bolt so that it embeds itself into the tree. This side here is already pretty solid. 
one of the last stages I guess is to cut some notches maybe into the center and then on the side so we can have a single swing and then if Story decides that she wants to sit down and have like a proper double swing later I can put up a like a two rope swing too so while I get the wood down I can put it all like in one place so I don't have to do it again later I'd have to get someone experienced to come and cut these coconuts down too we don't want those falling down on our heads while we're playing under here what I could do as well is build a little coconut shield that goes on the top above where the swing would go just a flat piece of wood that makes a little shade and if anything did fall down later it would bounce off the top of that hello girls you come to check up on the work Morning. bringing snacks breakfast look at that tropical breakfast for a tropical day <laughs> what'd you say the swing. i forgot the swing yeah. well i haven't finished yet <laughs> i'm just putting up the support and then when i finish the support i'll get the rope and i'll put the swing up for you okay it is a coconut tree yeah Right, what's happened, Story? The mouse. We've got a little bit of a mystery going on here. <laughs> we just came into the bedroom and this has happened. And this has happened. And the this, this was on, on the floor and the pictures were all knocked out all over the floor. What do you think happened? The mouse. You think it was a mouse? Yeah, look. Look at that hole. They have knocked over your toys? Look, yeah, yes. I know, yeah. So we've been trying to work out what could have done, because there's quite a bit of damage here. What could have actually the mat. done this to the mat, yeah. Because and also I, the doors were closed, so... I think what happened, I think they were trying to scuttle on the roof. Yeah. Managed to get out from that roof. Yeah. Then made that hole yep. first, then they managed to, then they managed to squeeze their body through there. So we think somehow, jump right down here, broke right down first, yep. then he got Tried trapped to rip up the rug to get out. Yeah, because he got trapped, so yep. that's why we all found anything mm -hmm. that didn't work, because I think he was trying to do a bit of a problem. But I think what happened, he was being a bit naughty. Look, he almost moved the slippers. Yeah, I know, yeah, it was being very naughty. You're yeah, right. He done, he done poos all over them. Poos everywhere, yeah. Right, so Mummy's got some cleaning up to do. So, that's why we have to do lots of work here. Yeah, a mouse or maybe a rat has somehow come in from the roof. Or bird. I don't think it was a bird. If it was a bird, it would still be in here somehow come through here which is why this bit is on the floor so there's all these bits of plastic and stuff on the table here um, and on the floor loads of little bits of plastic which has come from here this vent here there's literally just eaten a hole through the plastic there it's very annoying because i'm trying to whistle for the mouse oh the mouse probably won't respond to a whistle sorry <laughs> <laughs> Want to try it? Yeah. Oh, you found a way to swing on it already. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. How's it feel? Comfy. Yeah? Watch out below. Ooh, that looks fun. Three, two, one. Spin his Spin. How's that? Is it crazy? Yeah. <laughs> The tassels are going all over the place! Woo. You enjoy that? It's a nice addition to the house, isn't it? You can play on this now. There you go, anti-rotate that dizziness. Can you do it again? Yeah. Like a little playground for you. Woo! <laughs> it's crazy! Woo like a roller coaster! So there's a few more adjustments I want to do to this thing. I would like to get a hook so we can take it down if it's really rainy. I'd also like to make it a little bit higher up because when I'm in it, the tassels touch the floor. <laughs> you can't get in. <laughs> Jump in, there we go. And try and sit down. It's good, isn't it? Oh, you're going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
it's a bit low down, but... Yeah, a little bit low. That's yeah. what I was going to... My only comment, it I'm looks gonna... really lovely though, doesn't it? It does look nice, it really oh, fits the landscape. Yeah, come on. Yeah, you've got a swing finally. <laughs> Not quite what we planned for Story, but... Yeah, it's something. It's something. <laughs> what is going on out here? What is this madness? What do you think of the Garden of Eden? The Garden of Eden. How's the edge? Hmm? What do you think of Papang's fence that he built for us? You think that'll keep you safe? I think so. Oh, I'm a sweaty mess and I just realised I haven't fully explained why I didn't finish the other swing. So it turns out those raw bolts weren't quite deep enough. I've hammered them in further and they're much stronger but now the wood is too thick so I'm going to have to create some kind of rooted out inset here and then create some more brackets so it stays solid on the trees. It was turning into a bigger job that I wanted to do this morning so I just hung the new chair that arrived in the post instead. The Lazada man literally just came a few hours ago and now this one is up. One thing that putting this swing up has taught me is that I didn't know much about knots until today so I've followed some tutorials and tied some solid knots here. I don't think it's going to go anywhere but we will have to undo these when the hook comes and then I can make it higher so we can all enjoy it. Story just grabbed a sneaky snack from under our new <laughs> fly protector that we got from Beach Baby. Hey, if mum sees that you've got it out, you're gonna have to hide it. Hmm? Quickly hide it when she comes around the corner. <laughs> That's a good hiding place. I can smell it though. I know where it is. Look, I know it's under there. It's a nice picnic. Yeah. What are you doing, Jiggy? Why are you looking like a cheek? <laughs> She's hiding something. A flatbread in your tummy? Oh no. She couldn't wait. She said, it's too nice. That's alright. Did you tell Daddy that you made them? Oh, oh Eden just tried to take that off you. <laughs> How did you see that? Oh, I'm hungry. Can Eden I have one of your snacks? Uh, I think she thought you were giving it to us, Dory. Today's lunch a la carte. Carrot sticks, hummus with smoked paprika. Homemade, yeah. might I add. Me and Story made this lunch, didn't we? Yeah. We also have these oat bars with dates and chocolate. This is grapefruit oolong. This is our tea set from Thailand. It survived the journey. <laughs> yeah, one of the only things that did survive yeah. the journey, wasn't it? But this is it. This is it. what we've been waiting for, to be able to sit outside here in this garden space. Got a swinging chair on the corner. Eden the dog is here. We've got a fence to protect us all from the edge <laughs> in case Eden goes wandering. Need yeah. a little bit of breeze. That's it, just waiting. <laughs> we manifested all of this into reality. Yeah. And how here it is. And stories learned how to whistle, haven't you? Whistling for the wind. That's how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed today's video and we will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.